They say to you the miracle of number 19, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Agree, yeah. You go to verse number one and they say to you there's 19 letters. Do we agree? It says They say that? I haven't heard. I have not heard of this. I don't know. Well, this is what number 19 is about. They start from verse number one. And this is made by somebody. He, his name is Rashad Khalifa. And the Muslim killed him for the same reason. Because in order to make the number 19 work, he have to delete many verses in the Quran. So, uh, uh, the Muslim, they have tons of uh, uh, website talking about uh, number 19. And if you go to Al-Fatiha, the second I start calculating the numbers of the letters, I will find that they are way more than 19. You see in Arabic, I will try to zoom in just to show you how they lie and they fabricate when they claim those claims. You don't know anything about Arabic at all? No, no. All right. I want you, after we finish today, you can download the video and bring a Muslim who speak Arabic very well and let him defend what I am saying, which means against me, you know, not, not with me. Bring somebody who hate me very much. Do you see... Let me let me open my uh, screen pen so I can show you what I'm talking about. In the screen, we have the sentence which the Muslim they claim this is the total numbers of the letters is 19. And if we destroy the sentence, the whole sentence, the whole numbers uh, already is gone. I mean, the whole calculation is false. Do you see this thing in the top of the word? Allah, Allah. There's, there's like uh, I, will, I will, I will write the sign for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Look down yeah. underneath. Do you see something like it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is called Shadda. Shadda is something added to Arabic language to make it easy to write. What Shadda is? That mean here there's two letters, not one. Two letters, not one. So instead of writing the letter L twice. We put Shadda. This way, the one who is reading, Shadda means extend, like, well, you know, you, you put it, you know, put it more, longer. So when you pronounce it, you extend the way you say it. So now, uh, uh, here, we have two letters. Okay, the number 19 is gone. Not only this. And the one after it, the one after it here, Ar-Rahman, I will make a sign underneath of it so you can see it here little one do you yeah. see it okay uh, so now ar rahman ar rahman you see ar like ar like like when the russian speak ar ar rahman it's more than one air so this is two more letters there's shadda mm, yeah it still needs to be refreshed the screen but uh, ah yeah uh, so allah Okay. The word, the letter L have two shad, have a shadda. The word yeah. Ra Ar Rahman have shadda, and then Ar Rahim here. This is Ar Rahim. This is the letter R, and this is the shadda here in the top of it. There is two R, not one. So look what happened now. Just by adding, by by by, by uh, looking at the shadda, we have to add three more letters to number nineteen. So what the total? Uh, 22 then. We are not done, are we? No, we are not. Here you will see the word bism. In Arabic, there's no such a thing called bism. The correct way is bism. So there is alif here. That make it how many? Yeah, 23. Okay. Let us see. Do we have more? Mm. But maybe they have during their explanation for 19. Maybe they I don't care. No, what explanation? We are not done. Things. We are not done. We are not done. Look here. Do you see the word Rahman? Okay. okay. Uh, this is the word Rahman. Here in the top, there is a little stick. I don't know if you see it. I will. I will write in the top of it. Do you see it? Uh, it needs to be refreshed. Still, so I have to wait. It shouldn't be refreshing to, I mean, I don't know, maybe your internet is, is uh, let me let me clean this screen so you can see exactly which one I'm talking about. So here, there is a little alif. I will actually, I will draw in the top of it just to show you, and then I will erase it so you see what I'm talking about. Here, let me erase it. 
actually I will cover it here we go I will make it in red do you see what I'm talking about that it's really slow like now it's, it's just empty but I have to wait a few seconds mm, okay you will see it so you will see here there's a little alif alif this is a so this is the road Rahman Rahman is not written as you see it now the right way is to have the a Ar Rahman so now we have 24 letters or 25? 24, I think, yeah. Uh, I no, I think, like, no, okay. I think we have, yeah, maybe 24, I'm not sure, yeah. So the number 19 is gone a long time ago. But maybe the way that they... Um, no, it's not up to them. them. Either you are calculating the letters, numbers, or you are not. What do you mean, what do you mean the way? I can change no. so is it is it about a way so I can play games and make it fit with me or it's about how many letters you make a good point the only thing is because like I've heard that nowadays the the way that it's written is a bit changed in order to read it e more easily exactly also so this is not this is not uh, the, the Quran then if you change it ah, but if you then look at the original like the my the friend my friend you just say it you just said they change it correct no just the way that they write it Exactly. Okay, so we have to go by the way it is, not the way they write it. Same time, even the way they write it, the Shadda, anyone knows, anyone knows. There's a guy, his name is, uh, 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 what's his name, guys? Uh, Khan? Something Khan, something. He's from oh, Pakistan. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, he, he yeah. have a program. He explained to you how Ar-Rahman is a two-er. Because he's trying to show you a miracle, actually. He is making this to show you a miracle. But he totally agree with me. So the second you see Shadda, the R became two. The second you say Shadda, the Aleph become two. The second you say Shadda, the M become two, etc. So uh, this is how it is. This is Arabic. It's not up to me. It's not up to them. It's not up to anyone. So they deceive the lie to make it fit. Like how come the one who made this uh, false uh, uh, calculation, he did not notice that the word Rahman have Aleph. This is just an artist way to write it. This is not the way the Rahman is. The same as the word Bism. There's nothing in Arabic, it's called Bism. I will type the way correctly and you will see it all over the Quran. Is it possible that the Quran writing the word twice wrong? I don't think so, no. No, right? Even though I believe the Quran is full of uh, uh, of wrong writing, hold on. Read carefully with me. All those are BSM. Do you see it? Uh, it needs to be a refreshment, but uh, just a few seconds. <clears throat> so this is the way to write yeah. the word. This is the correct way, you know. And this is the way it came to Muhammad. As an example, chapter 96, verse number 1, it says, اِقْرَأَ بِإِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خلق. The Muslim scholars, they say, that the word bism in the first chapter changed for easy recitation. So they make be ism bism, but that means they change, and this means they lie in everything they say. They say we did not take a letter from the Quran, but then they say to you, we made be ism, we made it bism. I see. Yep. All right. So all those scientific uh, mathematics are false, and it's fabricated. In the top of that, I don't know if you saw the video of the uh, that. Uh, you know, be that a person he asked him, he said to him that uh, in your book, he have a book and a CD. Uh, you, uh, you, you know, you, you, you uh, appreciate uh, the, the miracle, 19 miracle. He said, in his book, you mean? Yeah, he wrote his book. Okay. So be that now because he don't want to accept Rashad Khalifa. He said, well, yeah, at that time I did, I found it a very good way to make people believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And then he says, but then I found, yes, but then because, because he announced that he become a messenger, he's a messenger. So, uh, you know, he is obviously going crazy. And then he said, actually, I will play the video for you. Here we go. Uh, you will not be able to hear me from Skype if I'm playing it. So if you want to hang up and hear it from there and call you back, it's up to you. Oh, or, yeah, I will. Or you can mute your Skype just to don't have the, the double sound and hear me from YouTube until we finish. Okay, I will do you it. You had a question. Yeah. This uh, booklet of your, the Quran, the ultimate miracle. Well, I have the cassette of it. I want to see it as a natural uh, seed. Whenever I try to show it to our uh, mullahs, you know, they don't accept it and they don't believe in it. Um, could you please? Uh, uh, there was a book I had written Al-Quran, the ultimate miracle. I had delivered talks on the subject, and there were videotapes and cassettes available. But this man, who originally made the discovery, which I found useful in talking to Muslims and non-Muslims, mm. but this man, a sickness has developed. Now he's claiming to be a new Rasulullah, like what Baha'u'llah was at one time, and Mirza Ghulam Muhammad. <coughs> this is a sickness, this is a sickness that is quite common. You see, once a person, you know, he finds that he's so clever, that people are, you know, hero-worshipping him. And, you know, whatever I say, I know these people will believe. So the man creates a sickness. This man, I can make claims. Today, this guy called Rashad Khalifa, he is the man who discovered this theory, Ali Hati Satasha. Now he said he is a new Rasul. He's a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory, but... Besides yeah, I don't know, like, uh, you know, my computer froze. Uh, and, uh, you know, we lost uh, a connection. So we were watching the video of Didat. So we heard Didat saying how hypocrite he is and how fraud. He used that statement from that guy and he made a big chapters of it in his book. Big fortune to make money. But yet he said clearly that this method, it's a theory which have a lot of flaws, a lot of bad things, not true. So why you accept it? He said why? He said because he thought it can be useful to convert people to Islam. So those Mohammedan, they use a lie, something they believe it's a lie, to convince people. Why anyone have little decency will do that. So, in order to fool people, they are willing to use any false method. They put it in their book. They print it. They publish it. They sold it. Muslims believe Ahmad did that. And later Ahmad did that. Himself, he said, that this theory have many flaws in it. So why you accept it and why you promote it and why you believe it? because he found it a very smart deceiving. So we deceive people to convert them to Islam and nothing wrong with that. Don't Ahmad did that in you, that this guy even deleted verses from the Quran to make that false number 19 work? Let us call our friend back. Hello? Hey, hey the, the connection is back again. All right, no problem. Uh, so I haven't seen the whole like because the connection was lost. But I think the point you was trying to make was that uh, he said some things in order for people to be more convinced, right? Yeah, but he said that the, this uh, theory have a flaws. Have uh, it's not right. He said it himself. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can search for the video again. You know, I, I I'm sure I will find it. You know, I yeah. found it just a second ago, so I can find it again. So. Uh, he accepted the, the theory, even though he knew it's a, it's, a, it's a lie, it's not true. And he said for that because he thought that it's good to use to convert people to Islam and for Muslims and non-Muslims. Okay, so so, so yeah. we use something false yeah. and we know it's false. Remember, he said it have a, have a flaws and it have, you know, it's not, you know, it's not that uh, something we can depend on to have something wrong with it. But... Why anyone want to do that? That's very ugly. I, I agree completely. Yeah. If, if that's the case. Yeah. 